in commenting on the culture, I'm always struck at how very few people see that the left side of the aisle holds the reins of culture. They think that because Trump is in the White House, this proves that the right has all the power. Trump's America now, boy. It sure is. Well, he might have all the federal power, but the Constitution, at the moment, is a document about what the government can't do to you. Presidents come and go, but culture is forever. 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 People ignorant of the fact that the left owns culture quickly lose the forest for the trees. The absolute axiom is that politics is downstream from culture. What becomes acceptable or unacceptable in culture will eventually become acceptable or unacceptable in politics. So what is culture? We could be here for hours trying to answer that question. But I think a more apt question would be, what makes culture? It is my observation that culture is made up of institutions. One institution is academia. Are you going to tell me that colleges have a fair representation of conservative or libertarian points of view? Here are some findings on the Democrat to Republican ratio at universities. Engineering seems to have a more balanced political representation, but from chemistry to communications, liberals dominate. And look at communication field, 108 to zero. I wager to guess that journalism is in the communication field. More on that later. So college is in the iron grip of the left. They are mine forever. Next is the music industry. Honestly, ask yourself, if there's a Democratic nominee for any office, what are the odds that they'll have a famous musician endorsing them? The right has Ted Nugent, Kid Rock, and maybe 60% of country music. The left has all of rock, R&B, hip hop, and pop. So the music industry is in the iron grip of the left. They are mine. Forever. Next is Hollywood. This includes movies and television. Watch the Oscars and see if there are any endorsements for Trump. Or watch previous Oscars to see if anyone said any flattering things about President Bush. So Hollywood is in the iron grip of the left. They are mine. Forever. Next there's the tech industry. Guess what? They donate far more to Democrats than Republicans. Look at this chart. A good portion of donations went to the Democrats versus Republicans. It's not even close. Next is the news media. What political ideology do you think most journalists have? I'll answer that for you. It's Democrat. You might say, well, what about Fox News? Okay, make a list of right-leaning news outlets on one side and make a list of left-leaning outlets on the other side. It's not even a fair comparison. Take even the main news outlets. You have Fox on one side, then you have MSNBC, CNN, ABC, NBC, and CBS. All the other networks lean left while Fox leans right. It's not even a fair comparison. Plus, only 7% of journalists identify as Republican. So, the news media is in the iron grip of the left. They are mine forever. Then there's religion. Many might think that the right has a monopoly on religion, but if you look at the data, it's not black and white. Even in religion, the left is gaining ground in the religious community. The right has a dominant hold on churches until you get to the American Baptist Churches USA. Here you start to see an increase for the left. Some of the churches at the bottom have more of a grip on the Democratic Party than do Republican voting denominations. But let's say that the right has an iron grip on religion. So are you keeping count when it comes to the culture? Academia, left. Hollywood, left. Tech industry, left. Media, left. Religion, leans right. So the culture is owned by the left. You might wonder how Trump is the president if the culture is liberal. Well, a few things. Trump became president because Hillary was the Democratic candidate. Democrats stole the nomination from Bernie. Hillary did not campaign in key spots in Michigan and Wisconsin, and Trump did. So anytime someone complains about Fox News, remind them that the left owns the culture. Ask yourself, what's a more taboo subject? More traditional values or contemporary values? What if you think there are only two genders? What if you think the Paris Agreement wouldn't have made a difference in climate change? What if you think the contemporary social justice has a communist foundation? What if you think that the gender wage gap can be explained away once other factors are taken in? The cultural leans leftist and the right is always fighting an uphill battle.